Alrighty. It's go time, boys. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Oh my god, yeah, your name sure is Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. If they're not showing any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. So most of these trials are probably just proving that witnesses are liars, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I see. Oh yeah, no, I agree. I think being a prosecutor probably is an easier job. Oh yeah. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let us begin then. If we may call our witness, our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Oh uh, boy. He barely fits in the chair. <laughs> sure does. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Can I just say, these games are probably very, very low budget to make, aren't they? It's probably very easy. Yeah. It sure. is all dialogue and it's a few, some stills. My name is Detective Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Well, if that's true, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have a, uh, quite the job being in this area, Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by the window here. And a cause of death. Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the Thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Four plans added to the court record. Now, detective. Y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene of the crime, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. All right, here we go. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Yeah, by the way, that's that's an, that's that's another huge thing that the lawyer would definitely not be allowed to be a part of the trial. Yeah. <laughs> you were a witness in the scene of the crime. Yeah, uh, I was there. <laughs> Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. The very moment, you say? Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. All right. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in the testimony. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoosh. Well, that went through my hey, mic. Well, my must have threw something at me. <laughs> What's this? My sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness testimony. She would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. Witness are, always slips up and says something wrong. It's Gumshoe. He's going to. It works it's well. Gumshoe. He's going to. I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. All right. Let's give this a try. Something the matter? Nope, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. 
All right, let's just press him on everything. All right. Hold it! Who did you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb, you know who. The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from this crime scene. Hmm, okay. I pressed. Not sure it did much, though. Right, please continue. I mean, listen, as long as this bar's not moving, I can do whatever I want. Yep, that's the freedom that you have in this game. That wasn't the swipe. Did I skip one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it auto progresses when you finish okay, pressing. Cool. Yep, alright, here we go. Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Mm, right, so I'd say it was about three minutes. That That's pretty fast. Our motto this month is quick response. What is it the other months? That's how I got there before the killer got away. Indeed. So, tell us who the two people you found at the scene were. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna interrupt him so many times. You really are. Are you absolutely sure it was us? Are you sure you saw me? <laughs> Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. With her funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like, like suspicious people at a crime scene. Well, he does have a point about her. She is pretty unmistakable. I should pick my points to press with a little more care. Why? <laughs> Who cares? Yes, your dumb act won't get you far. Do it like me, where you're actually dumb. Why is that? What's your reason? No. Alright. <laughs> that one was sorry. Hold on just one second. Yeah? Sorry. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did, did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. <laughs> exactly. What about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious and she sure isn't Pink, pal. Well, I guess she's Pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Uh, hmm, I guess pressing can't have its advantages. Yeah, like it doesn't, there's no repercussions for getting it wrong. It really isn't. You can do it as many times as you want. Yes. Uh. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Okay. Hard evidence. It's gonna be the note. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my very own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the words Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab result, blood test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Before we begin the cross-examination, I have a question to ask you, Detective. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, eh, uh, I, I know. I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I already know which one I want to go to. Yeah? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. 
That one. Yeah? Detective Gumshoe. Yeah. Do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's names? Sure. That happens all the time in books and in the movies. This isn't a movie, Detective. It's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about reality, shall we? Uh, I guess I haven't heard many cases, no. Then you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name, especially the name of her own sister. Uh, yeah, actually, you got a point, pal. Objection! Stop right there. The witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. Order, order. That didn't go so well. That's right. What he said. That's his whole testimony. Okay, here ha there has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. Uh huh. Hello. Uh, I mean, I can't think of anything to press right now. Is do we have a contradiction? Says, you want? Do you want a hint? No, I got this. Okay. Okay. I, I can give you a hint. I got this. I got this. I definitely got this. Let's see. Hold on. I had a memo written a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word miles written clear in the blood. Tried the butters of the victims. There's the blood found on the victim's finger. What? Okay. Finger left to victims. On the word miles written clearly in blood. Huh. I mean... Do you want a hint? Do you want a hint? Uh, sure. I'll handle the hints. I'll handle the hints if you want one. Look at the autopsy report. Wait. Wait, wait, wait a second. Autopsy report. The single blood for trauma and death was instantaneous. Oh. Death was instant. Okay. Do I have to be on the line that I want to contradict? Yeah. Okay. Uh, finger. Yeah, let's do this. And present. Objection! Objection! Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey. That's really what you're saying. What? Uh, this isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have it backwards, Detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, Detective. Immediate death due to blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But No butting your way out of this one, Detective. Order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Objection. Mr. Wright? I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? Was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being. The autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. 
What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Wait, isn't this happening the day after the murder anyway? Yeah. No. Uh. Yeah. The murder what? happened at night, and this is happening like the next day. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah this is happening two days it. after the murder. I don't under. I guess it was just done I... after your whatever. I told you, the fucking con this country does work fast and poorly. Yeah. Okay. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received the results this morning. This that would be in a that would be inadmissible in court. Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. And that is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. Should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? <laughs> I'm calling someone a sham, all right. You're a sham, Detective Sham. I'm a sham. Everyone's a sham. <sighs> I mean, you are a sham, Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal tax on the prosecution. No matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will. The evidence in this report is undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. The court sucks. <laughs> the court does suck. That from a blow by blunt first may have lived for a few minutes. Okay. Well, Your Honor. The evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's an obvious conclusion, yes. Darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Let the witness, let the witness Miss April May, take the stand. Oh, Christ. Exactly what part of her is innocent? Witness your name, please. April May, at your service. A wink. Oh my god. Order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from a wanton winking. Thank you, Judge. Aw, yes, Your Honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Uh, gee, I was like in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. Law offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. Here we go. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know? And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. And the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her, and then, and she hit her! And then the woman with long hair. She kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy-witsy. Wink. Wanton winking. Wanton winking. Well, Your Honor. 
It seems it is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble to witness any. Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? Uh, I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Uh... Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Fey's understudy, were you not? You must know her t techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? That's a personal attack. Are well, you Mr. Him? well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Hell yeah. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination, if only because I have a feeling Ezra doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Alright. All right. Uh, also, I thought... Yeah, no, there's nothing to listen to on that. Okay. I forgot about that up until now. Okay, it was like 9 at night, I looked at the window, you know, and then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. And I, like, dodged to one side and ran away. Let's press that. That seems flimsy. She dodged. Dodged what? Well, the attack! Please, continue your testimony. Oh, you guys suck. How did you know it was my client? Ah, uh, well, I... Gee. First of all, she had a girl's physique. And and secondly, she was she was small. Else could it be but her? At the point. Well, shut up. Don't, don't say the right. What are you doing? That testimony stinks. What? Huh. Which one do you choose? I mean, obviously she's lying, but can I prove it? Both of these are essentially the same answer, by the way, so I'm going to tell you uh, why. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Uh, Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what's the meaning? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Nope, full stop. You're clueless. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Fey, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. No one wears clothes like that, like this on a daily basis, except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the- She morning. was! I was there! <laughs> she was, your honor. I saw- THANK YOU! <laughs> and so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? She oh, also I... hasn't gone home to be able to change. You arrested yeah. her immediately. Yeah. What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. A wink. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. Alrighty. Round two. I did see everything. I did. 
The victim the woman dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it, I did! That that clock, uh the kind of statue clock. The thinker, I think. Does she know well, what the clock? No, I the thought exactly. my report not startling? Tee hee. I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. With pleasure. Alrighty. How the hell you know that's a clock, woman? I want to know how you know that's a clock. A clock? Did this come up in another testimony recently? Oh well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lloyd. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now.